Okay, AI cost is $1.53, $2.72 from Zapier, total cost of $4.25 to run this automation 51 times. How much should artificial intelligence and automation really cost? In this video, I'm gonna be looking at popular automation platforms like Make and Zapier. In addition, looking at artificial intelligence platforms like OpenAI, Gemini, Claude, and walking you step-by-step -step on how to actually calculate how much cost would be associated with any artificial intelligence automation. Let's jump in. I'm gonna be providing you a free AI automation calculator you can use right away. This can be used with either Zapier or Make. I know it says Zapier right there, but don't worry. Same idea here, you just put in the price per task. I'm gonna dive more deep into how to use this calculator in today's video. It's in the description down below. Let's go ahead and find out why I'm even doing this video. The reason I'm doing this video is I received a comment from Nick's here basically asking, how do I approach Zapier in the context of pricing, automations, and AI? So shout out to you, Nick's. We're gonna go ahead and answer that question in today's video. I'm gonna provide a free calculator you can start using. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step on how I personally calculate AI and automation for businesses and everything above the board. And if you're looking to ask questions like this and get answers like this, check out our school community here. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. To start off here, this is how you get charged based off the automation platform you choose. Whether you choose Zapier or Make, it's going to be based off a task usage. You might be like, Corbin, what, what is a task? What are you talking about? A task here is an action that you find within your automation. So for example, if I were to create a draft in one of my automations, that's one task. And each task is priced differently depending on the plan that you choose. From what you see over here at Make, they don't call them tasks, they call them ops. Why? Probably just for branding reasons. But the idea here is basically one op would be one action as well. As a baseline of which platform to choose and why, you can check out that video right there. I think it's 30 minutes long of me breaking down both platforms and why you would choose either one as there is pros and cons for either side. So if you want a more in-depth video comparing these two platforms, check out that video. The purpose of this video is very much showing you pragmatic advice in the sense of step-by-step -step how we're gonna calculate every single AI automation we ever do. We ever do, Corbin. We ever do. We ever do. Therefore, what you'll notice is that when you're using either of these platforms, whether it's an app or a task here, the actual underlying cost per one task becomes lower the higher plan you have. Here's an example of economies of scale when it comes to the more you pay for a plan, the underlying task will actually become cheaper. So for example, we have the 750 task plan here for 1999. We have the 1,500 task here for 39. Now this is marginal, but as you get bigger and pay for bigger plans, the actual underlying task cost will be very, very low. So in this specific context, it goes from 0 0.02665 per task to 0 0.026. You might be like, Corbin, that's so marginal. Like, why would I care? The idea is that if you play for higher plans, that could get down to one cent, half a cent, et cetera. Same situation here with make. The higher plan you pay for, the cheaper the ops become. Apps. Now that we understand at a baseline how we're even getting charged on these platforms, let me walk you through a zap I created using AI and automation. We're going to use this calculator. I'm going to show you how you can leverage this calculator for whatever context you need. Let's do it. The AI automation we're going to be looking at today is going to be the automate personalized emails automation. If you actually want to use this one, go ahead and check out that video right there. I go ahead and create it, show you the prompting. I even provide a link to it so you can add it directly to your Zapier profile. Let's go ahead and find the cost to it. So if you're like, Corbin, how do I even get to that page? You can either click your zap, go to history, or come over here and simply hit zap history. With zap history selected here, let's understand when a task actually gets expended here. So your first thought might be, well, there's one, two, three blocks. Therefore, this must be three tasks. In reality, this is actually only two zaps. That's because the trigger of what causes the automation to incur does not count as a task. Therefore, the task is going to be associated with the action blocks, JGBT. Gmail. Although there is one caveat, and this update actually came out within the last couple months from Zapier here, native blocks in Zapier do not count as tasks. Some of y'all are just like, Corbin, what did you just say? When I say native, I basically mean Zapier made apps. So all of these apps you see here, which are actually really fundamental in your toolkit of understanding how to create really cool automations, those don't count as tasks. That's completely free, which makes it super, super helpful as that, that means that the only task that will be charged to your account will be third-party apps. And when I say third-party apps, I basically mean every single app other than Zapier. Now that we understand how tasks are burned, let's go ahead and use that free calculator that I put in the description down below. If you feel like you learned something up to this point, make sure you leave a like. It's completely free. Let's go and do it. Coming over to the AI automation calculator here, we are able to choose between three different models. These are like the main industry models as of now, which got GPT-40 Mini, Gemini 1.5 Pro, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. As a quick side note, when it comes to artificial intelligence pricing, this one being open AIs, the trend in the market is that it's becoming cheaper and cheaper for you to access. For context, when the GPT-4 endpoint, like the original one first got released, I believe the input and output was like 
15 to $30. Now GPT-4.0 is $5 to 15. So we're seeing drastic cuts here in the context of like 67, 70% cuts. Now, if you wanna learn more about that, check out that video right there. I'm going like this basically explaining why AI is becoming so cheap and what this means for development and just automation and AI for a business. Enough talking, let's calculate. In this context, I went ahead and used the GPT-4 mini in my block. From here, we're gonna go ahead and put in the cost per Zapier task associated with our current plan. To get this, it's super simple. Don't need to complicate it. Take the amount of Zapier task in your plan, take your plan cost, divide it by the total number of tasks. So for example here, a 5,000 task plan is $133.50. Divide that by the amount of task and we get around 0 0.0267 per task. So I'm gonna copy this. I'll paste it in here. Now the next question we need to fill into this calculator is gonna be the number of tasks per run. Coming over here, we can identify with this metric right here. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. It's only two. I'm gonna copy this. If you want real quick insight when it comes to building automations, I think the longest Zapier automation I created when it came to task was around either 40 or 60 blocks. So yes, these can get long when it comes to the amount of tasks associated for one automation. If you want to see a cool example of this, just type in like Corbin Brown automate eBooks, did a whole thing on that. Now tokens per run, you can find simply by going back to that Zapier run. We're going to go down to the AI blocks. So in this context is GBT. We're going to scroll down here for the data output and it's going to be the token used. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and only put 20. So two major things. First thing, if you have multiple chat GPT blocks or Claude or Gemini blocks in your animation flow, you're going to want to go to every single one and copy that number. Once you've copied them all, go ahead and add that final number into this calculator here. Now, what's great about this calculator here is I gave the ability to slide the number of runs so we can get an idea of like, hey, if this ran a hundred times, how much is it going to cost me? And all we have to do is simply hit calculate. For me to run that AI automation, we're looking at around five cents. Now, some of y'all might be like, Corbin, why is the AI cost zero? That's because we're only using 20 tokens here, y'all. Let's say 200,000 tokens, one run will be three cents. So then I can just increase this. Let's say I do it 51 runs. Boom, that's my new amount. Okay, AI cost is $1.53, $2.72 from Zapier, total cost of $4.25 to run this automation 51 times. Here's the name of the game though. In reality, the amount of tokens you expend shouldn't be as high as 200,000 unless you're doing something very, very lengthy in the context of your automation. Therefore, what I want you to realize is that when you're leveraging these automation platforms and leveraging AI, don't worry too much about using a lot of AI blocks or using very, very extensive AI prompts. And here's why I say that. Because when I started this channel around a year and a half ago, and I was building out these AI automations, I would advise people to be more conservative in the way that they wrote their prompts, use less words, use more specific dictation. But that was because at that time, AI was way more expensive, like hundreds of percents more expensive. But now to access very high functioning models is extremely cheap, like almost too cheap. So let's just keep doing this trend. Give me another 66% cut. Another one, another one. <laughs> That just about does it, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and leave this calculator in the description down below. If you want to ask me very specific questions and possibly get videos like this, check out that school community here. Make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. And I'll see you in the next video. What do you think? You're going to start using that calculator? You're not going to start using that calculator? These are two random videos. My name is Corbin, and I'll see you in the next video.